Hello, this is Wesley Fryer with Moving at the Speed of Creativity, and this screencast will demonstrate how you can use the website VoiceThread to create a digital story, and this is part one of a three-part series, and we're specifically going to focus on images today. The first thing I want to point out is that we're using the website VoiceThread, and you need to have your account for VoiceThread already set up before you get to this point. You're going to log in with the username and password that you used when you created your VoiceThread account. VoiceThread is designed with an idea called layered complexity. There are a lot of different choices that we can do and options that we have in VoiceThread, but there are only three at the top. To browse my voice, which once I've created VoiceThreads will be displayed here. To browse the public VoiceThreads that other people have shared, or to select Create, and that's the choice we're going to choose today. Underneath the Create choice, there are three options. We can upload media, then we can comment on it, and finally we can share it. And we're going to today select Upload. We can find media from a variety of places, and if we have a direct URL or website link, we can select that and then paste that URL. We can also click Media Sources, and this will let us go to other voice threads that we've done previously, our own Flickr account, our Facebook account, or browse over 700,000 images available from the New York Public Library. But in this case, we're going to click on this image that says, My Computer. Now, prior to getting to this point, I have already located images that I want to use for my project. And in a previous voice thread, or actually screencast, I demonstrated how you could use the website Flickrstorm to save Creative Commons copyright-friendly images that you'd like to use in your project. Now, I've already saved all of these images to my desktop, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how I can do one more, and I'm going to do that by clicking on the image, and in Flickr, it is going to load up, and rather than save this smaller version, I'm going to click this link that says All Sizes, and I'm going to save this larger version of the image to my desktop. I'm going to right click, or if I'm on a Mac, hold down the control key and right click, or in control click rather, and choose save image as. And I'm going to put this inside a folder somewhere on my computer. Now I've chosen to save this on my desktop in a folder that I've called storm photos. And you can notice that this image actually has a lot of cryptic numbers in it. So to make this easier for myself to recognize what the image is, I'm going to call this lightning4 and then I'm going to go ahead and click my save icon and it's saved to my desktop. So I am now ready here in VoiceThread to add images from my computer. When I click on it, I'm going to need to navigate on my computer to wherever my images are, and I can select these one at a time, or I can hold down the Shift key to select all of these at once, and that's what I'm going to do in this case. All of these images are going to load up, and they're going to be draggable, meaning if I do not want them to be in the order that they appear, I can click on them, and I can go ahead and drag them and change the order. So that's just up to me on the order that I would like to choose for my images. If you're doing a VoiceThread project for our Technology for Teachers course, you're going to need to use at least five images, and if you want to use more, that's just fine. But if there's an image that you don't want to use, you can select it, as I have here, and you can click on the trash can, and then it will ask you, do you want to delete that page? And you can say, yes, you would like to delete that page, and it will be gone. What you're going to want to do for each of your images is you're going to want to actually add a title and a link to show where those are being taken from. But before that, we'll add a quick title and description. You're going to click this link at the top that says Title and Description, and then you're going to enter that information. The title and the description are pretty self-explanatory, but the tags are just keywords that you're going to use that other people may search for as they are trying to find voice threads that are similar to yours. Make sure your spelling is correct and then you're going to click Save and that title is going to be saved up here at the top. Now I'm going to need to go to each one of my images and indicate where that particular picture came from. And this is where use of a website like Flickrstorm is so wonderful because the Flickrstorm website saves this page that I can use to actually copy the original URL. If I go ahead and either right click or control click on the image, I can choose to copy the link location. And that's what I'm going to want to put into VoiceThread. And when I have the image selected, I can click on adding a title and link. And I can say this is a Creative Commons image. And then I can actually paste in the address so that others will be able to link to